How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a glorious day. Today we are 446 in the world in the builder base, continuing our journey into the top 200. Gonna be finding some live attacks, taking them out. Alrighty, we're on to the first base, and what do we see here? We've got a giant cannon on the edge of the base. Interesting. Interesting, and we've got sort of a deeper archer tower i don't think we can actually take it out with minions maybe maybe not i think we still try for it and then i see that our battle copter can get some really good value from the from taking out the giant cannon and then we can sort of prep a little bit of the area with the number six cannon cart we're going to send in two of the baby dragons to take out the lava launcher. Five can help take out that clock tower. We'll have two minions for each of the arch towers on the left hand side. Oh, we uh, lost a minion there. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. We'll have to adapt here, and oh, we are losing. Are we losing the baby dragon? Okay, reroutes. Whew, that was actually very, very close. We'll send a number five here just to make sure that the the uh, what you gonna call it? The arch tower goes down. Take out those buildings over there. Number five can start cruising around. And we get the splash, and we take out the arch tower down south. Very, very close. Running a little bit tight on time, as per usual, with the cannon carts. Hopefully we don't hit too many traps. Number five should be able to go into mortar mode. Hit the Mega Tesla. Same with number four. And then number six is gonna have to just 1v1 the that expo. No! Three! Two! One! Wow, a time fail. Wow, very unfortunate. On to the next one. Here we are going up against that same base. So, what did we learn? We learned that the one of the minions did not quite work out. So we're going to be bringing in the extra baby dragon. And we also found that the cannon carts were running into some bombs and having some issues on this top side of the base. So... What we can do here is we can send in the battle copter from up top and a baby dragon to help assist. And that should take out a good portion. But we'll have to be a little bit quick here, so we could do a little bit faster deployment with the cannon carts. That should work out pretty good. So we'll be watching to assist with the baby dragon with the battle copter. The goal is to have these two troops take out the the lava launcher for sure, and ideally the giant cannon as well. So we're just waiting for this lab to go down, then we'll directly target the archer lowered arch tower with the baby dragon. Then that will get some of a nice splash of value. Get another baby dragon take out this arch tower on this left hand side so we can start to send in our cannon cart since we were running low on the time before and then what we are left with is that number four can hopefully get some splash value onto the Ooh, it does not splash onto the lava launcher unfortunately we do take out the roaster, and then it should be able to hopefully retarget onto the lava launcher. 
Oh, it hits a bomb before it can retarget? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, that sucks. Number five will have to take out the Mega Tesla and then also take out the Lava Launcher. Be a little bit tricky here. Number six is going to have to just somehow 1v1 the Giant Cannon. It actually does 1v1 the Cannon. We'll stop number six so it does not hit any more traps. One more auto attack and we take out the Lava Launcher. So. A little bit of a different strategy. Still very, very close. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than that. Kind of crazy. So, what do we have here? We got the exterior builder hall, kind of protected by guard post troops. So, what I'm seeing here is that we could send in two baby dragons up top, take out the entire quadrant. Then, hopefully, oh, we got corner buildings too kind of sucks. Alright, so we are definitely going to have to try and take out these corner buildings for sure. But we also want to get our cannon carts into position to eventually take out the cannons if possible. So we'll send a baby dragon up top. Get this area prepped. Number five, can't really do a whole lot else without getting in range of the guard post troops. So maybe we can... Maybe we can get the baby dragon over there to kind of pull. Maybe the archer. That would be pretty sweet. Okay, perfect. We do get the archer pulled. And then we can take out that cannon most excellent make sure the number five does not die to the guard post troops that would be very tragic and number five will be able to work on that back end crusher and i believe we send in the battle machine up top a little bit risky but we need it to charge up and then number five over here can take out a lot of the base number six can start to weaken up this crusher which would be perfect then the battle machine should have the ability to get to the third star ability. All right, we're gonna have six to start walking behind it. Get that third star ability. Move in number five. Hopefully, it can take out these zappies pretty quickly. Number five still alive. Whoo! A little bit tight, but it looks like we are gonna make it. No more corner buildings. Get a very nice six star attack. Definitely a very tricky base layout. At least for cannon cards. We'll see if we find it again, we'll use something else. On to the next base. And we got a ground expo. Oh, I remember this base. This base used to do used to be able to use baby dragons and take this base out very, very well. Very easily too. With this ground expo, that could cause some problems. I'm thinking battle copper on this left hand side, take out the arch tower, maybe the giant cannon. How do we deal with the ground expo though? So we've got two baby dragons on this right hand side, I guess. One baby dragon behind. Ay yeah, yeah. It's not uh not going to be very easy. So let's try it though. Uh, let's see here. Cannon cart. Cannon cart. Cannon cart. And Balcopter. So, I think we're going to send in a baby dragon to help assist on this left hand side. Maybe can take out the Mega Tesla. Or at least tank for the Mega Tesla. That would be pretty sweet. And then we do need at least one for that archer tower. Maybe we can get lucky and it will go over to the... It is going to be able to tank for the... Oh, 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 oh. We are running into some issues here. Some issues here. Number six is getting locked on. Six, no, five, four. 
Okay, one more ability. Oh my gosh, we didn't take out the uh, the ground expo in time. Okay, well, it's one shot away from death. Need to move five out of the way. Is five seriously not going to go for the... Seriously not going to go for the... Uh, Wow. Wow, it's five did not want to go around for the firecracker. That is crazy. So yeah, now we're not going to be able to make it in time. Gosh, so unlucky that the baby dragon got hit by that air bomb right at the end. Just a little bit too complicated. I think the roaster is full health. We'll see here. Mortar mode. Mm, low health, but yeah, we needed that other cannon cart to go around the top side of the base, so Kind of unfortunate. Uh, got a fail there Look at the defense log six star five star, and then we'll see what this attack looks like Ooh, Night witches and drop ships interesting Looks like they'll get definitely the five star so yeah, they got the whole left-hand side cleared out. Uh, zappies are going down. Oh, that Night Witch went down on the left-hand side. That's nice. Yeah, one more percentage. The Battlecopter should be able to get the fifth star. So, Oh, maybe not, actually. We got triple Firecracker shooting it. Wow, we got a four-star defense. Nice. So, let's see. I think we lost a little bit of trophies on this session. Very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it went down to 610. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Helps me out a bunch. There's a couple more videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. Until next time, take care.